Mary Charlson here from 5minutemarketing.com. Welcome back. Uh, this week I'm taking a bit of a follow-up on the notion around establishing more personal connections with the folks that you have through business, through social media. I received quite a few comments on last week's post around this and I've also been kind of troubled by not a trouble by an email, it was actually a great email, but it really it was one of those emails that sort of stuck with you. I've been thinking about all day. And it was something I received from Mark Schaefer. He's the author of Marketing Rebellion. I've got a tremendous amount of respect for what uh, Mark says about things. And he received some notification of a, of a gal that he has followed on social media, has engaged for a number of years. Uh, a gal by the name of Dell Williams, one of uh, his original social media connections, someone who always kind of uh, challenged the gurus with her thoughts, uh, called a spade a spade, commented on Mark's blog posts, and received a notification that she passed away, unfortunately, of cancer. That, of course, is you know a sad thing. But what Mark's observation was about it is that she essentially died alone. Um, may have been by choice, but he suspects probably not. Um, this was a, a lady who had significant social media followers on Facebook, 15,000 uh, followers on Twitter, and she essentially died with a volunteer at her side, uh, somebody from No One Dies Alone, um, an organization that's committed to being with folks uh, before they pass away if they have no other family or friends around them. But it was a really interesting observation to think that somebody who had so many connections in a superficial social media way really didn't have those connections on a more personal basis. And you know, he made the observation that he knew her as a social media friend, um, you know, never really met her in person, and you know, through you know his own observation is I never even picked up the phone to talk to her. So um, what he was saying here is that you know it's. That's the unfortunate outcome sometimes of social, is that yes, we're connected, and yes, we're technically friends, but are we, right? And uh, you know, social media just kind of bubbled along without her. Um, and those connections are connections, but they're maybe not connections with accountability. So to get a little bit more personal with it, uh, you know, my mom died a number of uh, years ago, and around this time, uh, years ago and you know I was with her to the to the very end and we could think of nothing else what I would rather have done for her or what she would rather have had at her side but she was also surrounded by friends and family uh, leading up to that she was a real genuine connector uh, in person and on the phone she called people up all the time many people remember her hard of hearing phone calls but the point being is, is that she was never on social media. She, of course, you know, had a laptop. She was all into, you know, emails and things. But she never really uh, got on the social media bandwagon, nor did she really need to. Now, what does that have to do with business? Um, I think it has a lot to do with business uh, when we reflect on how we use our social channels. Um, make another observation with my son, who's a professional athlete, and he's had sponsorship. He's done a lot of traveling. And, uh, but he says, you know, there's a bunch of people that follow me that I don't even know, and they're not really my friends, mom. And, and um, he's also found, you know, that the pressure with social media is, um, you know, it takes a bit of a toll on your mental health. It's you accept the funds from sponsors. You feel obligated to, uh, can, you know, to reciprocate in terms of keeping up, you know, the content and thanking them for their funding. But also if you don't, if you do well or you don't do well, himself or even other folks he's seen is that they're almost apologizing uh, on behalf of themselves and the sponsors and you know that's got to take a toll as well so i kind of got thinking about this concept of what i could do about it and you know um pat flynn uh talks about you know a thousand true fans you know people who will open all your emails who will buy your stuff whatever and i got thinking and, and that that will support your business and i got thinking well how about a thousand you know true friends or 500 true friends, uh, business friends, business colleagues that actually genuinely appreciate your connection and what it is that you can offer and help their businesses with. And how could I really kind of go deeper and develop those connections? And I got thinking, maybe the challenge is, is to, if I haven't already met the people who are all on the email list of the, you know, the 40, 50% of the people that open the emails on a regular basis, if I haven't already met them, 
make a point of going out and meeting them. Or if they're not in the same time zone or the same hemisphere, um, have a Zoom call. Um, reach out, hear each other's voice, make eye contact, you know, and one-on-one um, -on -one sort of talk about what it is that makes them tick. I'm willing to bet that by cultivating that deeper relationship, it would just, number one, it would be fun, just because I am a connector, but number two, it, it's likely to show up at some point later in the relationship in a way that could be genuinely beneficial for both of us in terms of helping each other out or connecting each other to others that might be able to help us or offer um, a contract or, or, or um, you know, some sort of opportunity for business. So that's what I'm kind of thinking of doing. I'd love to know your feedback on it is over the next probably year, realistically, by the time I kind of get through it, is uh, make a point of connecting with everyone in person or by Zoom who is someone who's a regular follower, regular opener of the emails. And in some of those cases, those are people that I see on a regular basis anyway, but then actually engaging that conversation and uh, making a point of going a little deeper uh, when we get together. So that's, uh, that's my thought for this week. Going deeper, not broader in terms of expanding your net for more people but going deeper with the ones you've got and gradually growing out from that, of course, but cultivating what you've got from the existing connections.